Hi folks, I am solving lead code stop 150 questions and that's all you need for your coding interviews. In this video, we'll be solving 846 handoff states. The question states, Alice has some number of card and she wants to arrange it into a group of group size, which consists of group size consecutive cards. For example, here the group size is 3. So 1, 2, 3 is the consecutive elements. And something like 4, 5 and 7 can't be the group of card because there is a gap here. We are missing 6. And we have to return true if we can rearrange the card. Otherwise, we will have to return false. One thing which may come to your head, if it's not divisible by our group size, then we can say that it is not possible to rearrange the card. So we can't really brute force it. So it will be really complicated to define that. And one more thing. So if you see, we have our duplicate value as well. So this suggests that we will need some sort of hash map to have the frequency of the number of cards that we have. Let's look at this one. So as I mentioned, we will need some sort of hash map. So here we are representing this hands as this hash map and we have the values like one one occur one time, two occur two times and so on and so forth. So what we are going to do is we can start from the minimum value from our hash map and check if we can make a consecutive elements. So for example, with one right here, either we can make this group, we will continue with our algorithm or else we will return false. Let's get the minimum out of this our hash map. So to start with, we have one here and this one we know the count is one. So we use that. Now we will decrement this to zero. The next element, which is our two. So we will check in our hash map if two exists here, it does. So so we will decrement this 2 by 1 and add it here. So for the next element, we will check. So 3 is needed here. So we will check if 3 exists in our hash map. It does. So here also we will update this to 1 and add a 3 here. And we are able to do all of this in big O of 1 time because we are using this hash map. Now we have one group available here, right? But how do we find the next set of element? Obviously, we can iterate through this hash map and find the minimum in big O of n time. But we know a data structure that can do even better. That is by using heap. So our heap will contain elements like yeah, this will be our min heap. We will be popping the values out of this min heap and from there we know that we will always get the minimum value out of it. Yeah, so when we made this value 0, we popped the value out of our min heap as well and we can do this in log of n times. Now let's continue. So the next minimum value is, is this 2 right here. So we will make this 0 and add it here and as in when we made it 0, we will have to also pop this from here and again the next value is our 3. We will check if this exists in our hash map it does so again this will be also zero and this will be also pop so two three and next value you have to check is four four also exists so this will also be zero and this will be pop so this is our second group and similarly we will do for our third group one thing to note is instead of this two here if we had our one right here i hope you found this video helpful if yes you can consider subscribing to this channel and thank you so much for watching